look at what we got here today. Um, haven't bought a knife in a while, and I haven't shot a video in a while. The ones I've been putting up are kind of pre-recorded. Uh, I did a series there on some knives that Doom Crew sent me. But uh, this past week, I ordered a couple of knives offline. Then I bought two knives out there at the flea market, and this is one I got at the flea market. Now, I didn't know Lee was going to have these, but look at this right here. We got us a buffalo horn full-size trapper. Now, I've never even held one of these, so... I was pretty surprised when he said, hey, I got some buffalo horn knives over there. Brand new. I ordered them. So I was, I just ran to the table that they were on. Because I was looking at a whole different table. And uh, boy, he really surprised me. He really, really surprised me. Look at the jigging on that. So uh, this right here isn't the S35VN. This is just some true sharp stainless steel case knife. It is a 2023 model and a matter of fact let's look at the end tag here real quick let's let's actually just see what she says here you know we got the buffalo horn jig trapper bh 254 ss i guess you guys can see that pretty good yeah it's kind of right there on the bend and you know it is a 2023 model and it also has your seven dots on your main clip point blade here to show it's a 2023 as well so I was really surprised when he said he had these out there. I just could not believe it. Um, let's look at the let's look at the blade centering here. Strike three, right down the middle. That's what Richter would call it. We got some brass liners here. No gappage whatsoever. This knife was QC'd pretty good. Um, this knife comes in at what uh, four and an eighth inch closed. We got a clip and a spade point blade. The overall length on these blades is, what are they, 3.25 inches, and then you got a 3 inch cutting length. But let's look here at the, let's look and see if we can look at the old tang stamp there. USA BH24SS. Of course, we all know that BH stands for Buffalo Horn, so, guys. He had a few of these. He had three of them out there. And of course, you know me, I dug through all three of them and I got the one that I thought had the best QC behind it. There was one that kind of had a marking on the back here. And then another one was a, I think the clip point was just a little off center. So I went with this one here. Um, I just couldn't be happier with this. And matter of fact, when my wife seen it, she was just like, you have got to buy that. So... <laughs> So that means I could only buy one knife because it's all the money I took was what I what what I paid for this. So I went back today and got something else. You know, I got this one on Friday. Today, when I'm shooting this, it is Sunday. So I went back today and got me a, a Remington a bullet bullet shield knife, brand new in the box from I think '91. I think. But look at that buffalo, the groove in this buffalo horn. Now, I know a couple people that got these, and I know Jersey Knife Guy says he. Uh, I think he put some mineral oil down there to kind of rejuvenate that if it dries out or whatever, but. I just kind of dig the uh, you know, dig the difference in there. You know, you got the light color inside there. You got your dark black. Now on this knife, you don't feel any of the pins. Smooth transitions. Again, you know, I don't I don't see any large gapping. We got the on key blade centering. Just a phenomenal knife. Phenomenal knife. I am very happy with this purchase right here. I couldn't have asked for anything more. And uh, I was very surprised he got this, and I'll probably buy another one off of him. He's going to work on getting some, uh, some different, uh, some different ones like mini trappers, and I think he said he can get a mini copper lock as well. So what I'll do is I'll probably, uh, in between now and next flea market, I'll probably just go to his house and buy one of those. But let's let's do the measurements on this knife. Let's see what she weighs. Now this knife right here is 3.8 ounces, so it is below that ounce per inch that everyone likes to form to come in under. That wouldn't be right if we didn't kind of compare it to a, let's put some bone stack up there. Now that's 4.1. That comes in right at your ounce per inch, you know, but, you know, we look at both of these. We got a couple of good looking trappers here. A couple of, well, just a couple of doozies, I would say, I'd call them. Finish on both of these are, are pretty dang good. I've had this knife right here, this bone stag, for quite a while. But this one right here, like I said, this is brand. I just got this Friday. Just got her Friday. Let's again let's open her up here. Let's open her all the way up. Let's 
That's kind of. Oh yeah, she got some decent, decent walk and talk behind her. So, again, you got your tang stamp there. Nothing on the opposite side. Let's check your clip point here. You got your case double X with your seven X's and dot. Well, that just has dots or X's. I really can't tell. I can't see. And then it's blank on the opposite side as well. And guys, this is it. This is my brand new case full size trapper in buffalo horn. Now, like I said, I'll probably be picking up a couple of more of these. I know he's trying to get, he probably will have them in the mini trapper. As soon as he tells me he's got in the mini trapper, I'm going to buy it as well to have the matching set. And hopefully he could work on getting more through the distributor he uses as well. But uh, guys, that's it. This is going to be a short little video. Um, do want to talk about happy hour live chat. We have decided uh, to move that to Sunday afternoon. So that's probably going to be 530 Eastern, 430 Central. Um, this week coming up, I did talk to Tom over at Knife Delights. He's going to come on for round two. So we'll have him on um, there Sunday afternoon. I'll get myself and Boston host that. We're excited to have Tom on again because, you know, he's really helped both of us out and uh, kind of communicate with him quite a bit. And just overall great guy as well. And, of course, I'll put out a community post and also an Instagram. So if you don't follow me on Instagram, be sure to go over and follow Big J's Knives on Instagram as well. I have a poster up uh, Monday or Tuesday regarding that. Um, so yeah, again, happy hour live chat Sunday, 5.30 Eastern, 4.30 Central. Here's one last look at the old Buffalo Horn 254, BH254 Large Trapper. So yep. Let's just do one more round look here. All right, guys. Hey, while you're at it, like, subscribe, leave me a comment. You guys know I love communicating in the comments, so be sure you subscribe to my channel and, and, and like the content you're seeing and leave me some good comments. I love talking to you guys. All right. Hey, stay sharp and stay, stay strong.